Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator and the Linear Gradient tool to make a few different types of skies. This one I'm calling Sunny Sky, this is Sunset Sky, and Stormy Sky. The first thing that you'll need to do is open Illustrator. So go down to the Start button, click it, and from the list of programs choose Adobe Illustrator. When the program opens up, go to File, New, click Web, title your piece Sky with your name, double check that this is set to Pixels, and the size should be 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. The orientation should be horizontal, one artboard, the bleeds should be set to zero, the color mode is RGB, screen in 72 is raster effects, and the preview mode is default. Then go ahead and click create. In our blank document, we're going to choose the rectangle tool by clicking on it in the toolbox and then click and drag a rectangle over our background. Now we're going to remove the black stroke that's on the rectangle. So over here in the fill and stroke area, on the keyboard I'm going to push X, which brings the stroke forward, and then click None, which is the white square with the red line through it. X again to bring the fill forward, then I'm going to click the middle button, which is the gradient. That will put a black and white gradient on this. I'm going to click Edit Gradient and then change the angle right here. Open this menu and choose 90 degrees. Now for a nice sunny sky, I'm simply going to select the black color chooser and then double click the fill. And this brings up the color picker. There is more than one way to change the color. I also have only web colors selected because I intend for this project to be shown on the web. So I'm going to move this up into the blue area and maybe this color right here will look pretty. So I'll click OK and there you go. There is a nice sunny blue sky. Next let's go ahead and do a sunset. So with the blue selected I'm just going to uh, double click this again and I'll start with an orange color at the top maybe something like this one and click OK now I want this end to be yellow so I'll select the white gradient slider and then double click the fill swatch and go down to the yellow area and I'll click OK but I also want a pink color somewhere in there. So if I hover the cursor down here next to the gradient slider, you'll see that there's a plus sign. So if I click anywhere in this area, I get another slider. So I can double click the color swatch again and go up to the pink area and click OK. Now you can also see that I can move this back and forth to change where the color is going to show up on the gradient and I can also manipulate these little diamonds here to make more or less of one color show. So please play around, make several different types of skies, save at least one of them but you can save more. Let me show you how to save. The first thing that you're going to do is launch Google Drive. So down here I'm going to click the search feature and type in Google Drive and launch the Google Drive app. Now because I've already launched the app you don't really see anything happen but you will probably have a screen pop up and you will need to select your uh, username. Next, I'm going to go to File, Save, Save on your computer, 
And over here on the side, I'm going to look for a Google Drive, which is right here. I'll go ahead and click it. Click My Drive. Now I have an animation and digital art folder already made. If you need to make a new folder, go ahead and click this button right here to make one. I will open up my animation folder and I have lots and lots of files in here. I'm going to go to my Illustrator folder and open that up and then I will click Save. I'll leave all of these defaults the way they are and click OK. The next thing that you would need to do is turn this project into Google Classroom. That's it for this video.